assalamu alaikum very important questions and answers of your second year d pharmacy that is of pharmaceutical chemistry 2 so my dear brothers and sisters you are waiting for this video see i am in front of you to discuss about some of the question and answers and by practicing only this questions what i am giving 35 to 30 to 35 questions i am giving you for your uh, examination of d pharmacy particular subject okay so you practice only these questions with answer you keep uh, with you this uh, answer sheet uh, what i am providing for you you just uh, keep this and read and one request to you all uh, this is the part 1 my dear brothers and sisters in next class uh, i will upload part 2 this uh, part 1 contains 15 important questions and answers of your pharmaceutical chemistry and these questions are with four marks and uh, that 14 mark means uh, totally i have framed a total uh, four marks and also 14 marks here hmm 14 marks means they will ask in the passion a b c in your question paper in the section b they will ask uh, 14 marks uh, uh, questions or 13 marks questions in the form of uh, a questions they will give this one classify anti diabetic then b question they will give classify anti microbial agent uh, like this way they will uh, subscribe the question so uh, by keeping that such things uh, i am discussing here so one more very important thing just you can take a screenshot uh, from these questions but if you want clear notes means you can whatsapp me to my whatsapp number 7353649264 that number inshallah i will add in the description you can uh, say me hi in the whatsapp and one more request to you all that cost for rupees 35 per subject Okay, the 30 to 35 questions uh, will cost only rupees 35. You pay rupees 35 to my this number only 7353649264 WhatsApp number. And first you WhatsApp me, then you uh, uh, ask for me, sir. I am, I want this subject uh, notes, sir. Please uh, send me. Okay, then you pay me 35 rupees. Inshallah, I will send you. Now let's start. Uh, see, classify anti-diabetic. agent with example very important see first uh, discussing the, this question you have to write what is this anti diabetic agent the drugs which are used to treat uh, diabetics okay to treatment of the diabetics uh, we are using this uh, anti diabetic agent classification see sulfon uh, sulfomaluria's uh, first generation second generation first generation tolbutamide second generation glipizide and glibenkilamide then uh, di peptidyl peptidase for inhibitors okay sidagliptin and vidagliptin these are the two example then meglitinides nitiglinide and ripaglinide these are the uh, classifications for the anti diabetic agent now next uh, um, see next one is uh, define and classify local anesthetics with example see what is this local anesthesia anesthetics uh, they are not asked means they will just ask classify local anesthetics with example means then all, then also you have to write the definition of this local anesthetics see it is the medication that causes absence of a pain sensation means uh, this helps to uh, relieve totally uh, pay, uh, painless means if your body part is infected means uh, by giving this anesthetic agent local anesthesia that part of the body get uh, painless now for an example see this is your uh hand just go and go don't go for diagram see for your hand one finger you have any injury any injury to one finger by injecting the this uh, local anesthetics local anesthetics what happens this uh, finger okay this uh, finger what happens it feels like a painless no pain okay many doctors while they are performing surgery you know Uh, they are uh, introducing and one more very important thing here is the patient will be he will not uh, fed in conscious means non conscious he will be in his uh, normal mode only but only his finger is in a uh, anesthetic condition if his fingers he thinks that he has not having his finger okay but his mind his body everything will be um, fine here everything will be working just opposite to general anesthesia anesthetics i will tell you later that see in the context of a surgery a local anesthetic creates an absence of pain in a specific location of the body without loss of consciousness classification esters and then amides then alcohols in esters benzoic acid esters 
कोकेन एग्जाम्पल दैन पैराइथॉक्सी बेंजोइ एसिड इंट्राकेन दैन अमाइड्स एसिटिक एसिड जयलोकेन टूडे इन हॉस्पिटल्स वी आर यूजिंग दिस जयलोकेन टू पर्सेंट दैन प्रोपेनोइक एसिड प्रोपेटोकेन अल्कोहल्स इथाइल अल्कोहल अरोमेटिक अल्कोहल्स बेंजाइल अल्कोहल ओके दीज आर सम लोकल एनेस्थेटिक्स नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्ड थ्री लेट्स सी वॉट इज द क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री से इज क्लासीफाइ ट्रांक्यूलाइजर्स विथ एग्जाम्पल सी द ड्रग विच इज डिजाइन फॉर द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ एंगजाइटी फियर टेंशन एजुटेशन एंड डिस्टर्बेंस ऑफ द माइंड दीज आर द ड्रग्स विच हेल्प्स टू ओवरकम द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ एंगजाइटी एजुटेशन फियर टेंशन ओके दिस वी आर गिविंग द ट्रांक्यूलाइजर्स मेजर ट्रांक्यूलाइजर्स माइनर ट्रांक्यूलाइजर्स टू टाइप्स आर दे हियर क्लासिफिकेशन आर देयर इन द मेजर फिनोथयाजाइन्स क्लोर प्रोमोजाइन एंड पोलो क्लोर प्रोमाजाइन एंड पो क्लोरो पैराजाइन वेरी डिफिकल्ट प्रोनाउंसिएशन ब्यूटाइल प्रो ब्यू ब्यूटाइल प्रोपियोनोन्स ओके हेलो पेरीडॉल एंड ट्राई फ्लूरो पेरीडॉल यू वॉन्ट दिस नोट्स कंपलसरी सो प्लीज बाय दिस नोट्स थर्टी फाइव रुपीज इट्स नॉट अ हैवी अमाउंट ओके बाय बाय बिकॉज आई एम टेलिंग मीन्स द एक्यूरेट नोट्स आई हैव प्रिपेयर फॉर यू by referring only this notes definitely will pass your examination okay raul fi alkaloid respirin minor tranquilizers benzodiazepines diazepam and lorazepam then carbamate meprobamate hmm then classified diuretics means it is a substance that promotes diuresis urination promotes the uh, excess amount of expel of urine okay the increased production of urine this includes forced diuresis all diuretics increase the ex- excretion of water from the body through kidneys definitely every diuretics uh, they will what they will do they will excrete the urine okay from the kidney now classification c thiazide diuretics uh, example here chlorothiazide hydrochlorothiazide loop diuretics furosemide ethyracinic acid okay uh, sorry it it ethacrinic acid potassium uh, sparing diuretics spironolactone and amyloride then carbonic anhydrases inhibitors acetylazolamide and darzolamide these are the diuretics now let's go towards the fifth question question number 5 here see question number 5 define and classify anti amoebic drugs with example the drug which particularly suppress the growth or destroys amoebas this type of uh, uh, drugs is known as anti amoebic drugs classification drugs effective in intestinal amoebiasis those drug which will directly act on the intestine that is uh, diloxanide and idoquinolone and drugs effective only in tissues or hepatic amoebiasis chloroquine chloroquine and dihydro dihydroamidine and drugs effective in both intestinal and hepatic amoebiasis metronidazole tinidazole ornidazole then classify sulfonamides with example these are the uh, synthetic medicines that contain the sulfonamide chemical group that we are using sulfonam that we are calling it as a sulfonamides they may also called sulfa drugs these are antibiotics that treat bacterial infection that treat mainly infections and here caused by the bacteria means the infection which are caused by the bacteria it is manufactured but not naturally occurring basically these are the synthetic ones man prepared not naturally classification short acting like a sulfa diazine and sulfa dimidine sulfa sulfa dim sulfa dimidine then intermediate acting sulfa methaxolone and long acting sulfa doxine topically used mefenidine sulfur sulfa design Sulf, sulfur sulfa design and then ultra uh, ulcerative colitis sulfa salazine these are the some of the classification of the sulfa hydral drugs then define and classify antifungal uh, drugs see the drugs which is used to treat and prevent the mycosis such as athlete's foot ringworm candidiasis and others this drugs to treatment we are using as antifungal agents these will selectively eliminate the fungal pathogens from the host with minimum toxicity to the host see for an example a man is a host that host get attacked by some of the anti fungal fungal fungals okay and this antifungals if we give for the patient means or any animal means what happens these antifungal act where 
on the host host they will act on the host and eliminates the fungi from the body or from the animal body and with less toxicity and classification here see classification of the anti micro anti uh, fungal agents are triazoles fluconazole itraconazole and vericonazole then imidazoles mecanazole clotrimazole ketoconazole then allyl amines terbinafine and butanafine these are the some classifications the eighth question what are anticoagulants classify with example anticoagulants commonly called as blood blood thinners the chemical substances that prevent or reduce coagulation of the blood yes these will breaks down the clot they um, may be available in different forms uh, means they will be available in injection iv route drugs or oral drugs okay then classification used in vitro parenteral anticoagulants like heparin high molecular weight heparin then uh, bivalirudin lipirudin oral anticoagulants dabigatron atexalate warfarin rifampin rifampin okay these all are the oral one used in in vitro calcium complexing agents sodium citrate sodium oxalate and sodium edtate means what they will do they will form a complex which one these uh, in vitro drugs means these uh, anticoagulant drugs they will form a complex with the calcium and they will stop um, what they will stop they will stop this uh, clotting anticoagulants and they will uh, make the blood thin next uh, last uh, question sir that is of a question number uh, sir last 15 questions we will discuss in this video so stay tuned in the video don't quit the video very important one what are anti tubercular drugs classification these are the drugs which are used to treat tuberculosis this uh, lung infection is caused by the bacteria myobacterium tuberculosis Okay, these drugs will stop the growth of the bacteria that causes TB. Here, classification according to the clinical utility, the anti-TB uh, tuberculosis drugs can be divided into two groups: first line and second line. The high anti-tubercular efficiency as well as low toxicity. That, for an example, isoniazid, rifampin, streptomycin, ethambutol. Second line, they are having low anti-tubercular efficacy. Anti-tubercular efficacy, like for an example, para, amino salicylic acid. then the cyclosporine kanamycin clarithromycin amikacin azithromycin these are the some example second line and first line uh, classification with examples for the anti tuberculosis means to prevent the tb tuberculosis next 10th question define and classify the anti depressants with example these are the medications used to treat major depressive disorder some anxiety disorder some chronic pain conditions and other problems these drugs will activate the chemicals called neurotransmitters in the brain they will pump the neurons in the brain and they will activate those the common side effects are dry mouth weight gain dizziness headaches sexual disinfection these all are some common side effects of the antidepressants classification tricyclic anti uh, antidepressants like na plus 5 ht uh, reuptake inhibitors like uh, imipramine amitriptyline doxepin dotepin okay then predominantly na reuptake okay inhibitors like uh, nortripyline amoxapine selective uh, serotonin reuptake inhibitors like fluoxetine sertraline citalopram isitalopram atypical antidepressants mirtazapine amitapine then duloxetine okay tine uh, then uh, tai nip time these are the some examples uh, yes now next uh, uh, important question 11th 11th one what are diagnostic drugs give example with uses see these are the type of a medicine or substances chemical substances that helps to diagnosis usually these molecules contain radioactive isotope of elements that contribute to radio imaging okay now uh, fluorescein okay with fluorescein see a uh, dye used in angiography then used in angiography of the iris and retina then uh, metro metairapone uh, uh, a steroid used to test hypothalamic pituitary acth function okay adrenocorticotropic hormone then uh, tolbutamide a sulfonuria used to treat uh, hyperglycemia in patients with type 2 diabetes If patient having uh, type 2 diabetes means we are using this one tolbutamide uh, test 
means diagnosis test then betazole used to test gastric secretory function then uh, inulin used in an important medical test of a renal uh, function if renal function get damaged it means uh, to convey that to repair that uh, we have to do this uh, in uh, this text this one inulin test what is anti thyroid drug classify see anti thyroid agent is a hormone antagonist acting upon thyroid hormones they are used to treat hyperthyroidism carbamazole methazole classification inhibitors of hormone synthesis these will inhibit the hormone synthesis directly like carbamazole then uh, methimazole then uh, propyl thio uracil inhibitors of hormone release okay they will uh, stop the release of the hormones like iodine iodides of sodium potassium organic iodides radioactive iodine then ionic inhibitors like thiocyanate perchlorates and nitrates hmm. now uh, 13 question uh, for your uh, pharmaceutical chemistry to important one define and classify general anesthetics see the chemical substance that affects the whole body and usually causes a loss of consciousness here see there will be um, affect the whole body this uh, type of the anesthetics affect the whole body and cause a loss of consciousness it is administered either intravenous or inhalation they will block the neural signals it is also known as temporarily loss of a feeling and complete loss of awareness that feels like a very deep sleep classification inhalation like gas nitric oxide xenon liquid ether halothane intravenous introducing agents like propofol then uh, thiopentone sodium slow acting ketamine diazepam then uh, lorazepam midazolam fentanyl okay these are some uh, example for the which one general anesthetics next uh, classify anti microbial anti malaria see these are drugs type of anti parasitic chemical agent that can be used to treat or prevent the malaria the malaria mainly targets young children and pregnant women classification antibiotics like tetracycline doxycycline clindamycin then uh, sesquiterpene lactones like artesunate artemether okay artic mether amino alcohols like halo fentrine and lumifentrine okay naphthaquinone like atova atova atovaquinone then four amino quinil four amino quinolines like chloroquine this is one major we are using in uh, india then uh, kain uh, kain kona alkaloid that uh, q9 and q9 these are some example the last question 15th one classify antihistamic with example these are the class of drugs commonly used to treat symptoms of allergies these drugs help to treat the condition caused by too much histamine okay histamine is a chemical created by your body's immune system they are commonly used to treat the allergic reactions of pollen and other other allergens okay and classification first generation also known as h1 receptor antagonist uh, or uh, histamine blockers then highly sedatives like diphenyl di diphenyl hydramine di men hydrate then promethazine moderately cinerazine phenaramine mild one chlorpheniramine then cyclazine dexchlorpheniramine second generation h2 receptor antagonist or h2 blockers fexofenadine lortadine levocetirizine azelastida azelastine ibastine cetirizine these are the uh, anti histamics or anti histamic agent drugs with example see these are the important 15 questions uh, which were repeatedly asked in your examination these are 15 still 15 are in progressing inshallah rahman tomorrow i will upload that uh, remaining uh, 6 15 or 16 questions uh, those are very important uh, for your examination so this is part 1 part 2 will be released uh, soon so if you want the notes means just whatsapp to my whatsapp number 7353649264 which cost only 35 rupees thank you assalam alaikum